So, hello foxes and freaks, they're gonna make more videos. So, today, we'll do a quick scoping and full cam tutorial. Now, aiming is a really good thing for us person, third portion, or whatever shooting games. Since Team Fortress 2 CSGO, every Counter Strike, every Call of Duty, every first person shooter for that matter. So, you need to aim and you have to have a crosshair. And then there's some people who really don't care and there's no crosshair. Like the sniper rifle because it has no crosshair. There is a glitch where if you die with the sniper rifle, especially with explosives, you can have a crosshair, but it doesn't really do much because as soon as you scope in or switch a different weapon, that crosshair disappears and you're never going to see it again until you perform a glitch again. So, here is how you track. Before you do flick aim and quick scoping, you track. Tracking is this. You track your target and you have to do it like this. Here are the weapons I'd recommend you track on. Those are the weapons I recommend you track on. But here's the thing about that. One thing you need to learn is flick aim. Flicking instead of tracking, flick aim works like this. That's a flick. You know, whenever I try to, try to quick scope somebody and aim at them, instead of aiming like a known person like this, I'm like this. In a tenth of a second. Shang the Flack, known as myself, sometimes I can hit very insane flicks that last less than a tenth of a second or around a tenth of a second. I've learned this through Ultimate Sandbox a few years ago, and also by getting cracked and getting bustedly skilled at this game. Now, weapons I'd recommend you flick on are these. You see, so you can tell the difference. Weapons that fire slower are usually going to have more flicks compared to them. Flick aim is much use more useful, and flick aim is much more um, hard to learn. It's harder to learn. It's easy, hard, easy to learn, hard to master, pretty much. Flicking is whenever you twitch your mouse like this, otherwise known as twitch aim. We're going to flick aim some actual targets. We're going to pretend that I, this is a player. I'll shoot you for 10 damage, and then I'll no-scope you. Oh, no! Got him. As you can see, we're gonna be using motorcycles because motorcycles have roughly 100 health, which is the same as me, the player model. See, top or top left corner, I mean bottom left corner of the screen, that's my health bar. If my health bar drops to zero, I die and I have to respawn. And I have to go through some more and more ads, goddamn. But, as you know, you'll see more and more and more and more and more of these. Here is how you flick. You essentially twitch your mouse fast, and depending on how fast the flick is, you can hit targets. Like, if a target is about to go behind a corner and, and, try, and try to do this, you as a player, you can do, instead of having, instead of tracking, which takes too long, you can do this, and get one last hit, assuming you hit them for any amount of damage. Flicking is f fundamental to PvP in most games, and for burn shoot in general. I've learned how to flick as a way to minimize me having to actually aim, and I also learned how to flick so I can hit my targets faster. I know it's sometimes less than a less than a fifth of a second or tenth of a second difference, but that fifth of a second can often lead to me living and me not living. Since the difference can be really small yet really great at the same time, one last thing, quick scoping. How you perform, how you perform a quick scope is this. You see this? This is the scoping button. So, you know how to pop your weapons, right? Popping weapons is like this. So if you pull like weapons and then you shoot like this, after the weapon's done doing a little animation, that's how most people shoot. After the weapon's done doing a little animation, that's when they do damage. But me, I don't give a f about the animation. Instead, I on players, by doing this. Just popping my weapon instantly like this. See that? That's how you pop weapons. But, one thing you need to learn how to do to get a quick scope, so when you scope in, there's like a time frame of the sniper rifle that lets you shoot and lets you stop shooting. So here's the time frame. So, you, when you quick scope, you actually have to hit the button fast enough where the time where it delays and the time where you actually have to wait for it to shoot, it gets cut in half because time wait for it to shoot has its own timer. So if you do it before a timer, you can quick scope people. That's why sometimes I pull out my sniper rifle and I pull out the scope, I don't shoot because I do it after the timer, I actually have to wait for the shoot. 
quick scope and you don't waste a timer, you just shoot as soon as possible. Here's when you don't want don't hit a timer and you wait too long. Or I end up hitting this shop button before I hit the hit the scoping button. If I have the shop button before that, well then it's gonna be random whether or not my bullets can hit the target or not. Usually it won't, especially at longer ranges. I know some people want to complain and wonder why I use my sniper rifle at close range. I use it at close range because I have my weapons out for such a short time frame. They'll be roughly the same as me popping you in the face with a shotgun. A lot of people call me hackers because of it. I don't really care. I'll keep quick scoping you and keep and keep killing noobs. Yeah, but it's like quick scope. Yeah, you'll get the groove of it sooner or later. Now that's fun. I'm gonna quick scope this motorcycle for demonstration. See that? The motorcycle's done. Uh, so quick scoping is very, very good. The reason why quick scoping is so overpowered is because if you quick scope somebody, they they'll be at ten health, assuming they're at full health. They'll the range of a one shot for sniper rifle is in between ten HP to. 10 HP, TP to 99 HP. If you're below, if you're below 90 HP, well, goodbye, because you're gonna die. To be alive, if you get shot by a sniper rifle, you have to be 91 HP to 100 HP, and in anything in between that, you'll be fine. Also, if you just barely, if you're healing and you're at 89 health, and then you get shot right after and you're at 91 health, you'll just barely survive the sniper rifle shot. Just barely. You might still take a lot of damage, but you'll still be alive, hanging on to life. Also, if anything shoots you as little as this one SMG shot, you're 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 dead. You're you're done. Assuming somebody's at 90 HP, boom, you're dead. Assuming someone's at 99 HP, you're barely alive. If you're anything under 90 HP or at 90 HP, you're just gonna get one shot. Nine times out of ten, a person, whoever they're in the PvP battle, they're gonna be under 100 HP because, you know, they're probably getting shot by bullets if it's some engagement. If they get shot once with a revolver, that's 60. If they get shot once by shotgun, even at longer range, it's gonna be 20 damage. If they're gonna get shot with a pistol, it's gonna be 15 damage. Any shot from any weapon is gonna put you under that limit, lead, leading to a clean one shot. That's why sometimes I can quick scope somebody that's fighting somebody else, and boom, they're dead because they've been taking some other damage from a different engagement. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Goodbye.